Oreos. All right, so let's see what you're doing. What's going on with you? All right. So, what is the current energy for my Leo Collective? All right, we have the hanged man in reverse. No longer feeling hung up about something. Three of swords in reverse. No longer feeling heartbroken about something. Kind of coming out of that. Three of wands. Maybe collaborating with friends or something. Or, you know, just deciding between two people because you've got those two of pentacles, right? And then we have the star, the Aquarius card. And then we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So, let's talk about it. The Hanged Man in reverse. What is this obstacle that was taken away? Seven of Cups in reverse, sorry. And then with the Five of Wands in reverse, choosing to no longer be conflicted, right? Choosing to no longer be sitting in that sorrow and that heartbreak. Let's clarify that. Three of swords in reverse. Princess of swords in reverse. The six of pentacles in reverse. You feel like you failed with somebody that you didn't want to cut off. That you felt like there was like no um, prospect of success there, right? Um, three of wands, third party energy. Clarify it. The chariot in reverse, not wanting to leave a situation or, um, not wanting to move. Or do anything like just kind of stable like you're good where you're at you're not trying to relocate or whatever two pentacles change in making a decision what is that about let's talk about that the sun the sun the star leo the sun is a star so it's like you're kind of like choosing you like make a choice to choose to be like happy and prosperous and kind of get in touch with your inner child a bit all right so then let's clarify this star Cups in reverse. The star is somebody that you felt conflicted about loving. And with the Four of Swords, it's like you wanted to take a rest from like that conflicted feeling, like that Three of Swords, you know, kind of feeling. Like you're just like, all right, it's time to rest from the strife and all the shit, you know, whatever you were feeling hung up on or whatever. Knight of Swords in reverse, not wanting to fight, not wanting to have any kind of conflict here. Let's 
Yeah, not wanting to fight, wanting to lay down the swords a little bit with that five of swords in reverse. And then with the ace of pentacles, it's like taking on a new endeavor. Um, like embarking on something new. Let's talk about that. What are you embarking on? something that requires a lot of strength um and then with the hierophant it's like you're really studying you're really trying to develop your skills really trying to master something here um like honing it in kind of like cutting off like your emotional side to get more into your work analytical side like um it's kind of funny because i saw the aquarius in similar energy but here in this reading, it's like you're like cutting off the Aquarius and in that reading, it was kind of like they were cutting off a Leo. <laughs> so it's kind of funny how that mirrored. I don't know, if you've got an Aquarius in your life, maybe you watch that. <laughs> I don't know. So this is interesting. We have the Princess of Cups in the upright with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So it's like letting go of somebody that you once loved and embracing somebody that you now love, right? So let's clarify it. Queen of Cups in the reverse. King of Wands, Princess of Cups, King of Cups. And then the Last Judgment in reverse. So this is interesting because the Queen of Cups is the divine counterpart to the King of Cups, right? Um, with that, instead, you choose, or, like, it's like you offer some sort of truth or communication here, right? But then with the Princess of Cups, this other energy, that's where you offer your love, right? With the Last Judgment in reverse, that's kind of saying, like, a lapse in judgment, but... Yeah, it's interesting. Why the last judgment in reverse? Okay, because King of Pentacles, you wanted something tangible. With the Ace of Wands, you wanted a new cycle, a new beginning. And with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you feel like things just couldn't be successful if you went that other direction. Alright, so let's talk about your Princess of Cups, right? One that you choose to love. Let's talk about it. Pentacles in reverse. Um, you know what? Let's not. Let's not. I feel like you gotta live that one out. You gotta live that one out. You got. That's a whole. You know what? You get that whole ass experience. Okay. You chose that whole ass, you get that whole ass experience. That's, that's what you get. Okay, so let's clear that up. Let's um, talk about your oracles.
Chase before judging. Try not to be so judgmental. Vegans. Solitude. Independence and peace. I feel like that's kind of telling you to take your time out and kind of get some introspection. Um, shadow self. Denial. Projecting and shame. Self-defense mechanisms. Right? And then also, this just kind of was sitting at the top. And this is like a farewell, right? So it's kind of like... You know, I feel like there's just kind of an ending here. You know? Um, that, that ending is gonna create a new beginning for you. You're gonna have like... You're gonna have a lot of ex experiences that really help you grow. All right, right now you gotta do that shadow work, you know, or you will do that shadow work because you've got some shit to work on. Um, so you fucking got this. Fucking got this, <laughs> right? If anybody's got this, the Leos have got this. So you got this. Whatever happens in your life, just know it's going to be fine, <laughs> you know. Um, that's kind of like the beauty of this destined path, right? We all got to experience things and go through things. And, you know, and it's kind of like sometimes I feel like in regards to why I didn't tell you the ending of that tarot was it was because what is the fun in knowing the outcome? You know, like, just know that you're going to have a great fucking time. You're going to enjoy yourself. Okay? <laughs> like, um, and you're going to learn, and you're going to grow, and you're going to develop as a result of that. Um, and right now, I think that's the most important aspect of that message. You know? What's the point? You haven't even entered into, like, full-ass union with this person, so what's the point in knowing how it's going to end? Like, pfft. I don't want to tell you how it's going to end. I just want you to know that it's coming, you know? Um, and, you know, like, because that's what you chose. You chose, you know, um, you chose that. And so you're going to get that. <laughs> and I, you know, I'll be back in a couple of days. We'll talk more um, about your journey and all that. It's just right now, allow a little mystery in your life, you know? I feel like that's a big thing is, Leo's want to know everything in advance. And maybe in that aspect, it's good to leave a little mystery. Maybe it's good to just not know the whole fucking end, you know? Um, so, anyway. Namaste. I love you all, and I hope you have a great time.